Hello and welcome back to the Bearded Hobby Homestead. We have been quiet for some time because, well, there's not much to do during lockdown. If you want to know more about that, I'll be doing a video about that pretty soon, telling you our experiences during this lockdown, or rather the lack thereof. Anyway, today it's back to another cooking video, and it's easy. It's quick, it's painless, well, not that quick, but it's good. This is a proper South African way to make hot dogs, I would assume. Hot dogs, easy, grab meat, grab bun, slap in, squirt, squirt condiments and eat. This one is going to be a bit more fancy. Fancy. Fancy is the word. <laughs> so I'll be taking Vors. W-O-R-S. Vors. It is a lot like sausage. It's seasoned, minced with it's some sausage. fat. It's beef. It's brilliant in a casing, pre-cut and sized. And I'm going to be doing it in a pan on a high heat with some garlic butter and I'm going to be using some fancy fancy oil fancy oil uh, olive oil extra virgin and also uh, a little bit of cayenne pepper and paprika for color because papi paprika basically is just red mm -hmm. the more you use the more red you have that's the only, that's what I can get from paprika. So I'm going to tilt you down and watch me do the magic. Alright, so step number one would be getting fire. flames. Fire is good. Caveman eat fire. Alright, <laughs> caveman make food. Caveman eat fire. So caveman take a little bit of the fancy oil. Fancy oil. <laughs> Just about a tablespoon or two, or three, maybe four and a half. I don't know, I cannot count. Then, next, I'll be using some garlic butter, pre melted because it's good to have things pre melted. Look for the chunks, that's the garlic. And you hear this is already going, that's also good. Alright, you need extra because you're going to do that. Later. as a little topping later all right now this is the best way to get everything together then you'll need some cayenne pepper as much as you're not afraid of and paprika that I did not get ready beforehand therefore I'll be taking a while to get to it and there we have some red awesomeness do the shake thing again because who's got time for a spoon there we go now get your sausage grab it by hand and dump it in from here on out I'll do a time lapse for you so you don't have to wait with me for this to get up to color and tenderness tastiness and everything that's wonderful Okay, so being the genius I am, I went for stop instead of time lapse. But here you'll see an update halfway through, and that is looking amazing. Let me just take down the camera. Yeah, there we go. Now you can see better. That looks really, really, really good. Anyway, so I'll be keeping keeping this covered for a little bit. Now, I promise my wife she's not going to be on the camera, so I'm going to just I go there. Me. Oh, she's on. <laughs> I don't love you. She will be rolling out some dough. There we go. Good view on the dough. The dough is going to become little blankets for these borscht pieces. Turning them into little wrapped pieces of awesomeness. Now I'm going to go back to... Oh, that's not back, that's forward. There we go, that's back to the board, you can hear the sizzle mm -hmm. that sound means you are in for a treat now you don't want to get this all the way done just get it halfway there get it close you'll see it's kind of bulging up, everything cooking inside the casings from this point 
I'll leave them in there for another minute or so just under pressure to get them heated nicely and while that's happening in the time I did all that my wife went uh, that way, that way, there we go my wife went that direction making things look amazing as always righty then that's how you flatten them out and our rolling pin decided to abandon us for this episode but we are still fighting fit I'll be turning off the heat now because it's splattering and sputtering and looking amazing next step you'll see is going to be us rolling these bad boys up alrighty then now I'm trying a new transition technique so if it sucks I'm sorry now this has been sitting in juices those juices will be transformed as well nothing goes to waste now we have a pre-sprayed oven tin pan thing also the rolling pin decided to join us again so now what I'm doing is I'm grabbing one of these plopping it in and then my wife will demonstrate the perfect rolling technique not rolling, just wrapping wrapping technique like putting a child to bed <laughs> if the bed was a hot oven Hansel and Gretel style so now we are going to rush through the session I remember to do time lapse and um, we are going to do this Alrighty, that is how you do that part. Now, transferring them closer is my beautiful wife. Um, and that is the secret sauce right there. Some butter and garlic, aka garlic butter. Just drip it over top and then it's going into the oven. That is going to be as amazing as it gets. Yep, that direction. Look at that golden goodness. Yes, sir. As you can see, I tried rolling. I'm not good at that. I can do meat, I can do ideas, and I can do growing beards that I'm good at. Not hair, beards. All right, with my mouth salivating properly now, we are going to pick that up and bring it closer to the oven and dump it inside now back to step number amazingness with oh no, I'm going the wrong way there we go step number amazingness with regards to this pan and what needs to happen with that now we have a cooled down little pan of uh, juices <laughs> oil and buttered garlic or garlic butter, whichever one you prefer. Now, I need to go back to lighting this thing up. If I can find... Um, if I can find the method of doing so. Here we go. Restart the heat. Not as high. Go for about a medium high temperature. That should do, do you good and proper. Whatever's left in there, just scrape that out and uh, go to town with it. Now, if you have got a non-stick pan, keep in mind, you do not want to scrape around with steel or metal objects in there. You will just create a non-stick, sometimes, pan. Grab yourself something with a little plastic rubber, rubber mm -hmm. poly, polyethane, poly something. That's gone bubbling now, and the easiest way to make a little pan sauce is to go ahead and grab yourself, does this count? Flour, yes. <laughs> Self-raising wheat flour. Grab a, about a teaspoon of that, or a tablespoon, and 
make the entire mess inside. And be thankful when your wife and you one of these things, because apparently they are better. But I don't feel comfortable with the steel. It's a new pan, guys. It's a new pan. I like new things. I like to keep them new. And I love new subscribers. So if you are new to the channel, please drop me a subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. I read each and every comment while this thickens. We are kind of high on the spices list. The Scoville heat units we enjoy. Therefore, as soon as this gets to a roux consistency, I'll be adding some other sauces in here to make this into a dipping sauce of salts. A pan sauce into a dipping sauce is easy enough. Get your pan sauce going, make sure there's no clumps or lumps, anything in there. And then you and just... Add milk and bistro powder and make a gravy. Yes, bistro powder for those of you who watch from other side of the sea. This thing is toppling now, why is it toppling? Bistro powder is a gravy powder we have here in South Africa. It's really cheap. Uh, 17 bucks. That's about uh, 80 cents a dollar. Yeah, that's about 80 cents to a dollar. Original gravy powder, two little vegetarians, which we are not. <laughs> but we try to include everyone. So, this is going well, this is good. From here to make it a proper gravy, we'll be doing milk and the bisto powder. But this is not a proper gravy, guys. This is going to be an awesome dipping sauce. So with the heat being too high, I'm turning it down a little bit, running over to the fridge. And starting off with one of the things my wife loves a lot. Kimlan soy sauce. Since 1936, it yes, doesn't We cannot fall. afford Kikoman here. We can, we choose not to, because <laughs> we um, are aware of our budget. Many things can be afforded, doesn't mean they should. Anyway, so there's a little soy sauce. Here we have a off brand tomato sauce. That's basically just ketchup. This is basically ketchup. Just dump a squeeze full in there. It's going to sweeten the sauce a bit. And then, because we're not scared, We've got a homemade chili sauce here. If you want to see how we do it, stay yeah, tuned. Okay. Yeah, we'll make a video. Soon. We'll be doing a video soon of an awesome chili sauce that we did. What we're busy with. It is in the pickling phase. Oh yes, it's in the fridge. Let's show that. We can show you that actually. That's a very very nice looking sauce. We pickled a couple of chilies, red and green, and they have been joined by some. Olives. Olives, onions, and that's it. Yeah. It's been in the fridge for about mm, two weeks now. Yes. Yes, that's gonna be good. So we're gonna throw that together and make a sauce, bottle it, and then enjoy the heat that comes off it. All right. So this has the consistency of a dipping sauce. It doesn't stick like mayonnaise. It doesn't run like water. I am happy with it. Stay tuned. <coughs> Next up, we will be re revealing the finished product out of the oven. And here you have a joyous celebration of food. Okay, so the sauce doesn't really show up decently. Mm, yum, yum. But look at that. That looks amazing. As you can see, it is still steamy. It's still hot. It's fresh out of the oven and they all had juices coming out of the wazoo mm -hmm. so now that is going to be amazing so yeah there you go that's the recipe that's the plan and that's the finished product it's nice and juicy looking sausage inside vors w-o-r-s vors buddha vors any vors make sure it's beef 
fat spices casing that is probably close to sausage I have no idea yet we will soon one day maybe hopefully find out so until next time we really enjoy having you watch our videos keep in touch drop a like subscribe comment down below give us more ideas we are bored in lockdown quarantine 2020 you all be good have a good one have a great day have an awesome evening and God bless.